so honored, grateful, and humbled to be able to introduce this man, Ron Washington, the mayor pro tem. I'm still learning. I do know he's a man of God. I do know he's a dad and a husband. It's so much I know, but listen to him and learn more. I'm just so grateful. Relationships are important, y'all. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another healthy heart. And I am extremely excited. This young man has known me for 20 plus years. So if I get emotional, it won't upset him. He's seen no. tears, happy tears. So yes. I'm going to ask you, kind sir, uh, who are you and what's your title? I just know you as my brother, a kind heart. But who are you? Because I'm just, I already have yes, the president. I don't know if I told you that. But anyway, who are you today and your title? Sure, sure. Well, first of all, you know, I, I look at that question as not an easy one to answer. Uh, uh, as far as, you know, I think society expects you to answer it a certain way. So let me just answer it my way. I'm a man, I'm a father, I'm a husband, and I'm a child of God. Okay, that's, that's, that's where I'm, that, that's, that's who I am. Now, the titles that I hold in, in, in my life is that uh, I'm a retired police officer. I am also uh, an entrepreneur. Um, I'm an elected official in the city of Covington, Kentucky. I'm, uh, my title is city commissioner or mayor pro tem, which just means vice mayor. And I'm a bulldog, which means that uh, basically I went to high school at Holmes High School, Bull Holmes High School, and our mascots are, is the bulldog. And I still volunteer at the school system. And uh, we have a saying, once a bulldog, always a bulldog. So I'm a bulldog. So that's me. That's me. Boy, one bulldog to another. I'm a male high bulldog. Woof, woof. Okay, okay. Well, I'm sure so we I was, beat y'all. <laughs> not in the 70s, boo. I don't even know if you was alive yet. But I anywho, right. <laughs> I, I, I won up you on that one. That's but anywho, right. <laughs> wow, that's why you're always at those games. You are so supportive of people. Oh, that's yeah, yes. Stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. That's a question I want to ask sure. you because you are supportive and you are a servant. So that's a beauty that it's hard to articulate, but what is one beauty of being a servant, a leader, a servant and a leader in Covington? What's a beauty? What's the good thing about it? The best thing that I have found about it is to be able to help people solve what most people would consider a small problem but the person that may be contacting you, it's a huge problem within their life. That's the most satisfaction I, I get from, from being an elected official in the city of Covington. My God, my God, that's good stuff. That's encouraging. Mm -hmm. uh, this next question mm -hmm. about knowing a little bit about your background as a kid, a little bit what I've heard, but mm -hmm. do you have, or can you name two or three influential people in your life that were or are, and how did they impact your life? Mm -hmm. Sure, <clears throat> my first one is my mom. Uh, you know, I was adopted as an infant and um, I, was, I was brought here from Harlan, Kentucky um, at a very early age, three or five days old. We, we don't exactly know because um, my mom has passed. She, she shapes, she, you know, she shapes uh, my the, the way I conduct my life and the way I think of things. She was a, you know, I was raised by a single mother mom and uh, she's a very strong woman, uh, but she was also, she believed in helping the community. But at the same time, she, she felt like um, that uh, you had to go out in the world and you had to make it for yourself and you should not forget where you come from. And uh, so that's that's my that's my number one, probably influencer. The the number two uh, probably influencer, uh, you know, in my life would probably be um, the I mentioned it earlier would be Holmes High School would be the, <laughs> my 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 head coach uh, Reynolds Flynn. Uh, he was the head basketball coach. And also my fellow teammates and just my school in general. Um, and the reason I say that is basically 
what sports got me prepared for was uh, leadership, learning how to participate with uh, people, learning to work for a single mission, how hard work pays off, how it's important to be disciplined, and how it's okay to be yelled at. You'll be all right, okay? Because, you know, we see this today that we don't want to hurt people's feelings. And I think it, you have to understand that some of the people that are hard on you want you to, to, to make it in life. And probably uh, the, 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 you know, the third person is current, you know, is, 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 and Coach Flynn's with us also is, is my wife. She, you know, she keeps me straight. She keeps me straight. She's a, she's a, a, a God fearing woman. She's, she's very educated. She's got a, she's got a big heart. She cares for a lot of people. And, uh, uh, she's just, she's just a really good person and she helps me with my grammar. So, <laughs> so and, and, and she doesn't mind telling me when I need to go back in my lane, which I think it's important for everyone to have that type of person in your life. But she, she, you know, she's my confidant and I think it's important for people to have a, a, a confidant. So those, those would be the three, the, the three people. Wow, praise God. You know that third person. I'm I'm <laughs> mm, mm, okay, I won't get emotional. Who? Who? Okay. Okay. So um when you were a little boy by being did you find out you were adopted early? And then when you were a young boy, and you know how kids are like, when I grow up, I wanna be. Did you have one of those? When I grow up, I wanna oh, yeah. be. Oh yeah, yeah. When I grow up, I want to. Healthy Heart is so honored and humbled and grateful to be able to co-labor with some of our siblings over in Africa, Nigeria, to be specific. It's our fifth season, Faith and Favor, and wanting to remind everyone, your heart matters. February, you think of the heart, your sweetheart, or wear red, but we're talking about the spiritual heart. So we're grateful to remind everyone and encourage everyone to know that that spiritual heart is important. So coming real soon, Saturday the 11th, we have some folks that are excited as much as Healthy Heart is to share with you the significance of your heart, your spiritual heart. And some men and women of God have agreed to share and you will see the scriptures that they will be sharing from in just a second. But this is them together, to God be the glory. And I'm excited. I wanna oh, yeah. be. Oh yeah, yeah. When I grew up, I wanted to be a police officer. Shut up. Oh yeah, yeah. There was never, there was never. I, I guess one time, at one period of time in my life, I thought about being a preacher, but that when I was younger. But basically, I I uh, always wanted to be a police officer. The the neighborhood we grew up in wasn't the best neighborhood, but what I remember about the local police department, the Covington Police Department, is they would bring calm to the neighborhood, because sometimes from a from the eyes of a child, there was a lot of chaos. Because when you don't understand things, it seems to be chaos. And for that moment in time when they would come, it, it, and I liked the ability that they were there to bring calm. And they, I, you know, I grew up looking at the police as, as, as helpful. Wow, man. That's, yeah. woo -hoo, that's <laughs> rich because what you said, I could see those two things in you. Because when I met <laughs> you, I think you were an officer. Uh, years and years ago, but the preacher part, I see that because you are a servant leader and that's what preachers should be about, humble servant leaders. And that leads me to my next uh, question. I was going to try to research all this stuff you've done, but it was too much. It was a whole <laughs> bunch. I went through Facebook because I'm like, what uh -huh. leader, commissioner, person, because by I retired from social, you know, the public housing mm -hmm. and everybody in office wasn't always nice, uh, except to certain people. I know I'm mm -hmm. talking about what I know about. So I'm like, my goodness, you've got so many places and so many people you help promote the businesses, you're encouraging them. And I, I counted for a while 
commissioner pro tem mayor person and i just i was you know i'm just a bit older and i was like i can't keep up with all these names and all so how do you do you do that on purpose or is that your job description or how do they get you or how you because that's if somebody was the encouraged child right now mayor i'm just talking about or a commit because this is a llc and i'm like how they get the run i might need to run in the, the pro tem man commission okay i'll shut up right. how they do the, how mm -hmm. Well, well, this is how it actually, this is how it actually happens is, 